while they powder her nose, let's get back to Kellyanne and continue our demonstration. So, actually that colour that you just held up, that three-tone, we're going to be using in this next demo. Just to show how those kind of creams and beautiful colours. So these are the bits that I've gotten ready so far. So I've gotten a card base that I actually made out of the China White. Because yeah. it is a really kind of heavy card stock. So that's, what, uh, £92. Um, it really kind of, it is, it is card stock worthy um, for card bases. So that perfect for that. So you could be making your card bases. Then I've got that beautiful, like, shimmer three-tone. Just fabulous that I'm gonna be using as my mats. Um, I've also got myself a little sentiment um, from one of Tim Holtz, yeah. um, tiny sentiments. And then I've got this beautiful floral um, piece that I've done um, from the Pretty Penny Stamps by Stamps By Me. So I'm gonna do a little bit of stamping to make um, a background, and then I'll show you how I did that watercolor effect. So I'm just gonna take off my stamp. So this is um, a, a clear acrylic stamp really easy to use um, and if you've got a um, a stamping tool yourself I mean they are game changers for stampers they really are um, I old, always traditionally used a block until I got my hands on a stamping tool yeah because it just means once I once I've picked up my stamp so I've, I've positioned it I've popped my stamp um, my lid down and then I can just it's just gonna be the perfect place every time every time yeah gotcha and all I have to do is if I have miss inked so then I close it I then pick it up and I go oh there's a bit I've, I've missed so I'm just gonna close it give it another press and it's taken it perfect I'm yeah. gonna move that over just slightly because it's just stopping the uh, meeting yeah. there there it's interesting, go. isn't it, how crafting's got better and better and better over Definitely. the years. Definitely. I mean, like for a lot of people, trying to reposition yeah. a block almost, is almost impossible. impossible, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I think I think I've managed to do it once <laughs> in in uh, my years of Otherwise, you end up with stamping. that little shadow because it's slightly off. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Which yeah. isn't the look you're going for. I know it's only a bit of cardstock, but actually, when you're making, you want it to be you want it to be nice, don't you? Yeah. But so I'm using here the white ripple embossed card. So you can see that stamping on this is really simple and easy. I've not had any problems. I may have a smudge there, but that was my finger. That wasn't anything to do with the cardstock. Um, I, I'm such a messy crafter, guys. I get ink absolutely everywhere. Yeah. I am. I try, I try my best, <laughs> but I'm such a messy, messy crafter. I think lots of, lots of crafters are. I, do you know what? I think I haven't had a good craft session if I haven't got ink all over myself. <laughs> <laughs> if I haven't got it everywhere, yeah. So I've just created a background. Actually, I'm going to do one more here, and then we are good to go. I think just in there. So I'm just making sure I don't nudge it when I pop it onto the cardstock, because then I will get a double impression, and I yeah. don't really want that. So we pop that, close that. So you can see, if you haven't used the stamping tool before, how simple they are. I'm not being funny, that actually looks good already. It doesn't it? Doesn't that it looks without any colour or well, anything I'm else. I'm not going to colour this one. That looks awesome. I'm, I, it's just, it, it's, it's just such a nice way to make backgrounds. Now you could actually use, say, one of the other colours. Say you've got an orange ink and stamp on top in orange to get that kind of shadow effect is really lovely. So I'm just going to ink this one up so then I've got something to show you so I can paint but it's oh, so okay. simple so you're not going to use that you're just going no to paint no that I'm one. just right. going to I'm, this is just for our demonstration purposes gotcha. so I'm just going to move that don't worry I will sort all that out at the end of the show but we only have a certain amount of time if anyone does want that what we call the stamping tool it's called a Eureka yeah, that is Eureka. available on the website we can show you the details for that right now if you'd like it so it's sixty dollars and ninety nine cents if you're a club member. If you're not, then you will automatically be a club member when you buy that, and you'll get an email in what twenty four to forty eight hours, and then you get a whole year of membership. So it's like there's twenty dollars for that membership. So you could look at it that okay, that's sixty two ninety nine, but actually it's only forty two ninety nine because I'm being a club member as well. So yeah, that's another way you could look at it. Oh well, yeah, it's you win -win. Know what? I really think that like stamping tools, uh, they've come so far, so far. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with quite a concentrated colour. So I've just put onto my, I've just squished my ink onto the, the, the lid of my yeah. Eureka. So I know it's not going to go anywhere. I'm then just going to take that darker colour 
and just blend that out. So you're using it almost like water paint. Like I am, I'm using right? it as watercolour. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove some of that, a bit more water, and then I'm just going to draw that out. So then it gets lighter. Then you've got that natural lighter colour and that tone. So if I want to come in with a bit more dark, I can. I can just put it back in. I can let it dry and come back to it. It's, it's just a really fabulous way to work. This yeah. is how I tend to watercolour everything. I kind of do, go dark and then I kind of blend that colour out to light. And did you get any formal training for this? No. You're, no. Just, you're making it up as you go along. You're uh, just yeah, enjoying I just, yourself. I just, yeah. I, um, Incredible. I've just been doing this for quite a while that this is just the technique that works for me. Yeah. I, I'm sure there are watercolourists out there that will go, ooh, I don't know about that. But for it me, works for you, yeah. it works for me. And it's really simple. It's a really simple. So I've just taken off some. Do you find some. this quite mindful? Oh yeah, yeah. I love sitting watercolouring like yeah. this. So that's a bit of a harsh line. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just add a little bit more colour and kind of blend that through so it's not so harsh. But then what I would do is like I have, um, where has it gone? Oh, there it is. <laughs> I always lose stuff. I would work through the rest of the flower in that same exact technique to create this kind of lovely kind of autonomous colour. I'm going to move my stamping tool over to one side, move yeah. brush over there, because I don't need any of that now. And we can start constructing the card. So let's grab that sentiment. So I've got the card base that I made myself yeah. using the Dalton Manor. I've got that beautiful three tone, which is just fabulous colour. I love it, I love it, I love it. The green tone. Well, the brown oh. tone. Oh, yeah, yeah, the I'm being told that's, that's hit 50% of the stock now gone. I'm not surprised, guys. It is, it's a really lovely kind of, it's a good thickness and it is just beautiful. And then I've made my own coloured, my own, not coloured, my own stamped background. So if you've got a particular stamp at home that you like to use, get it involved. Get it, yeah. get it creating your backgrounds. It's such a fun way to use your stamps. And then oh, let's pop this onto the background. I'm just going to pop a bit of tape on there. Da, 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 da. And then last of all, we just need a bit of foam pads because we like a little bit of dimension, don't yeah. we? Got to have a little bit of it. So I snip there and I put a bit more just there. And it's not like it's making the card really deep, is it? No, no, it's no. It's not like no, six, seven, no. eight levels this, of this is, well, this is why I try and keep to try and keep to one level. Yeah. Because um, you don't want it. Yeah, you don't want too much, um, especially if you've got to bear in mind um, postage. your postage. Yeah, yeah. Now, where did I put my pokey tool? I put it down. It's all right. I'll grab another one. <laughs> I've got tons of them. I got. I literally got four or five of them. I think. But you have your favourites, don't you? <laughs> I'm sure at home you've got favourites. Your favourite tool. What's oh, your, what's your favourite tool? Tell us what your favourite tool yeah, is. Yeah, email that in. Email that in. StudioUSA at creatingcraft.com. So your all-time favourite tool, um, I'm getting the impression for this morning, it's going to be the stamping tool. Oh, yeah, yeah, That's yeah. That's your number one. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Aside from that, it's got to be my scan and cut. Oh, yeah, yeah. My wife's got one of those. I love so, it. Yeah, my wife, she's an art teacher. Um, she does love crafting and consequently the kids love crafting as well. That's been great with the lockdowns. Oh, I bet. I bet it has. That looks gorgeous. How fabulous is that? It's Fantastic. really kind of classic yeah. and not the normal colours you would go for. So it's, it's a really kind of deeper browns and those tones. I just, I think it's a beautiful way to and, use it. And if at home you are enjoying the florals, if you're liking those designs, stay with us because we've got flowers coming up.